It's because of you, all my viewers and subscribers, that the moths that we are going to see on this channel are only going to become more and more beautiful. Wow! Take a look at this incredible Saturnid moth here. I'm almost shaking from excitement to see this hatch from the cocoons. Hello there everyone, and today I am back with an incredible, incredible species of Saturnidae. And this time, this moth came from Mexico. The species you are currently um, looking at is the Leucanella Contempta Windy. Um, I am unsure because, um, well, the Leucanella Contempta has a lot of subspecies that can look a little bit different. And I think it's somewhat unclear if all these subspecies are their own species or not. So I guess some people will call this a Leucanella windy and others will call this a Leucanella contempta. I still have to look into this taxonomy. But uh, it's a lovely and incredible, incredible looking moth from uh, Mexico. Look at those colors. Wow. It's definitely one of the best moths that I have so far seen this breeding season. And to me it's somewhat unclear what it is that these moths like to eat in the wild. But in captivity they like to eat various things including willow aka salix. Uh, but also in some cases privet aka ligustrum. Cherries aka prunus. I heard they can even eat uh, rose, uh, genus rosa. And probably any plants related to this. I don't think oak has been tested, but I think Leucanella are less a fan of oak tree. But I do know they, they uh, like things like Prunus spinosa, etc. So I guess there are some, some leftover um, a window here for experimenting. But just look at that. I would love to breed this. However, uh, I think I have like like uh, five cocoons of them. That's not much cocoons. So I'm gonna gonna be uh, have to be really lucky to get a pairing of this. Um, I mean, it, I, I have the chance to get a pairing of it, but it's a very small chance because I have uh, five cocoons. And the first female just had, so I'm gonna need a meal between now and like two or three days. Otherwise, my chance is gonna be slim. But you know what? Even if, if I don't breed this, I'm gonna be very happy that I was able to take a picture of this species and uh, able to film it. Because it's... Wow, it's gonna... It's, it's one of the best moths that I've seen so far, man. Uh, I've attempted to breed Leucanella several times now with uh, varying results. Um... The one species I've bred before is the Leucanella fusca. But uh, apart from that I wasn't very lucky with raising other species. I've uh, had eggs of more rare species. And those didn't turn out to grow very well. I still have to crack this moth. I still have to practice breeding them. But I really hope that these will pair because that will be a good experience and good practice for breeding. But uh, wow. This has made my day slash week slash year what a magnificent animal so i'm gonna say thank you for watching this was bart coppens again with the leucanella contempta windy from mexico uh, i'm gonna close this video with um, some close-ups Show us your pretty little face too. Ah, that's just adorable. Wow, 
This is why I love, why I love Saturni Day so much. It can be so amazing and colorful. Come here, come here. <laughs> 